Well, you see, descriptive analysis is like when you're sitting there with your data all laid out, just like a nice, neat little buffet spread before you. It's all about talking a good, hard look at that data and trying to figure out what's going on, you know? It's like digging into a big bowl of alphabet soup. You're looking for those letters that show up the most, trying to find the ones that stick out like a sore thumb. So, you start crunching those numbers, adding them up, dividing them, and shaking them around like you're mixing up a cocktail. You're after the main flavors, the mean, median, and mode. Those are like the salt, pepper, and garlic of the data world. They give you a taste of what's going on in the whole pot. But that's not all, oh no! Descriptive analysis is also about visualizing your data, making it come alive. It's like talking that alphabet soup and turning it into a work of art. You've got your histograms, scatter plots, and box plots, all laid out like a fancy dinner party. You're looking for the shapes, the trends, and the little surprises that pop out at you. It's a bit like being a detective, searching for clues in a big mystery novel. You're trying to uncover the story behind those numbers, to see if they're telling you something you didn't know before. And when you finally put all the pieces together, it's like solving a puzzle. You step back and go, aha! Uh -huh. So that's what's been going on. So there you have it, descriptive analysis is like talking a stroll through your data, digging deep, and bringing it to life with a bit of statistical magic. It's about understanding what's in front of you, like peeking behind the curtain and unveiling the secrets that your numbers have been keeping. When you want to make sense of your data? Descriptive analysis. Descriptive analysis truly is like savoring that alphabet soup of data, but there's a bit more to it when you take the technical dive. It's like unraveling a tapestry woven with numbers and patterns. You see, you're not just casually glancing at the data, you're conducting a symphony of calculations. The mean, or average, gives you a center point, like the sweet spot in that alphabet soup where the most letters hang out. The median's like the middleman, ensuring everyone gets a fair share, and the mode. Well, that's the party animal, the letter that shows up the most. And let's not forget our old friend, standard deviation. It's like the seasoning that tells you how spread out those letters are. High standard deviation? You've got a wild mix of letters, low deviation? It's a more controlled party. Now, those plots you mentioned, they're not just fancy decorations at the dinner party. Histograms are like the bouncers at the club, showing you how many letters fall into different groups. Scatter plots? Oh, they're matchmakers, revealing if two variables are getting cozy or keeping their distance. And box plots? Well, they're like the elegant bow ties that wrap up your data's wardrobe, showing you the range and outliers. Being a detective in this case involves more than just magnifying glasses. It's about exploring the shape of the data distribution, peering into the depths of skewness and kurtosis. And when you find those, aha, moments, like spotting a hidden pattern or trend, you're solving a mystery that's been right under your nose. So, while it's still like having that magical spoon of statistical soup, there's a full course meal of calculations, distributions, and visualizations. Descriptive analysis is like your trusty guide in the data wilderness, helping you find your way through numbers, turning them into insights that make you feel like you've cracked the code of the universe. It's the power of descriptive analysis.